Lori here from The Lori Travato Show. We are going to show you how to make this beautiful heart. The first and foremost thing you have to know is you're going to be successful at this. Take your dotting tool and make indentations. After you make the indentations inside of your clay, sorry for the wiggly camera, I bumped it, um, then you're going to take mica shift powder of your choice. I chose one that was more of a turquoise color because I wanted this to have a turquoise veining going through the marbled effect. The first thing I want you to remember is, you know what, it's all up to you. This is art. So if you wanted to have a really unique type of gemstone that you create with the veining going through it, go for it. Try it out. Have leftover clay. Don't be shy. Just go for it. This clay here is from a leftover technique. I will put that at the end of the video, the link to that. And it was for my, what I called a mosaic technique with a trinket. And I squoze it all together. Anyway, getting back to this. So now that I have it all squoze together, you can see after I made those indentations, look closely there, the mica shift powder is going down into the little divots that I created with the dabbing tool or what I call a dotting tool. I want to show you here by slicing it off. See that there? I've made these like almost like rippled effect, but I want a deeper ripple effect. So what you do is you pancake them together. So I cut them in half. Now we're going to put end on end there. I went really fast because I wanted to be able to get through that part. So once it is all together and packed tightly, what I did was I just laid across the top a piece of silver because I had an idea that I might be able to show you better contrast if I put some silver on top. So now I'm going to slice through and we're going to reveal what happens once you slice through. Ta-da! So now you have this beautiful veining technique. This clay is black clay and it has a semi-transparent uh, clay underneath, almost like a skin color. So the base clay started out as the mica shift powder, but I used most of that in that mosaic technique that you'll see if you click on that video at the end of my tutorial for this. And what happened was with all my leftover scraps, the translucent clay, there was more of that than anything. So that's what happened. But when you start to slice through, now that we had done that folding, after we applied the mica shift powder to the divots that I created with the dotting tool, it goes in a lot deeper. If I had just left it as is, I wouldn't be able to get a lot of slices. So we went through all that work to squeeze the clay all together and get it all nice and compact, but yet we wouldn't get the veining that we would achieve. As you can see here, this piece here doesn't have just as much veining because now I've started to slice through, which you're not seeing off camera. I made quite a few slices with it. It was about, oh, I'd say three quarters of an inch thick originally. And so now I'm starting to get to the end. And what happens is you'll start to have that veining disappear. I have a beautiful heart here that I created using a silicone mold. I do have a tutorial on that as well. So check that out in my videos. And I'll also put the link to that maybe right here at this point would be a great place for that. So check that out. I laid this on, I made sure it was pretty thin. I would say, you know, almost paper thin. You don't want this to look like it's, you know, totally separate from your regular heart. You want it to look like it's sort of part of the menagerie. There you have it, really simple. These three hearts you see here, I show how to make them with using a silicone stamp. Like I said, in the other tutorial, I have two tutorials actually that are semi-connected to this and I will put the links at different places within this video. So look out for those. I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching and check out my sponsors here at the end. Yep, I don't want an adult today coffee and lost sock perfume. Can't go wrong with that, can we? Anyway, have a great day. And of course, Lily says thank you. Like and share. Bye-bye for now.